everybody. Oop, did it again. Hello, everybody. Yes, I am in my favorite fuchsia, and I'm in it for a reason. It's going to all make sense in a minute. So, I was sitting around last night, and mind you, I can't start this video being um, someone who has lived in Tennessee all of my life, and I cannot, um, even though this is my luxury handbag um, um, blog site, um, I can't, um, with all consciousness, not take a moment to think about the lives that were stolen yesterday. Um, I, something inside of your psyche and your heart just changes when 61 to 9 years old lives just stolen and we'll probably never fully understand why um, but in your moments, in your time, in your spare time, keep Nashville, keep Tennessee, and mostly keep the nation and these families who lost their loved ones, not just our precious babies, not just the three angels, the three nine-year-olds, but the three 60 and 61-year-olds as well. Keep their families in your prayers. Um, God is speaking, and and I don't like to be really religious, um, but I've lost. Um, ooh, I've lost a, a few um, coworkers here lately. When I say lost, I don't mean they quit they or got a promotion or moved to a different job. I mean, literally, they're no longer on earth. They died. And um, it's been since January. It's almost like back to back. Life is precious, you guys. If, if I don't say anything else to that note, I do have a religious channel. This is not yet. So um, I just want to say, life is precious. Live your life with no regrets. If you do nothing else, live your life with no regrets. Um, okay, so. I want to talk about the affirmation, the declaration, and all of that that I made to my husband last night. It's one of those moments where you're sitting around, and I was in a very down mood yesterday, life-changing mood. You're, I'm at work, and, and you just go across your phone that there's, a, there's an active shooter, you know, in a central part of the city. I don't live in Nashville. I live far out on the outskirts of Nashville, but I'm a native of the city. Um, and my very core was rocked. We have never had anything so horrific happen here. The last time we had uh, any type of violence, even that's even close to it, was in 1994, and it was on a one-on-one -on -one situation where something went left. That was the very last time. Um, and I don't wanna even get on that tangent because it's gonna change my mood. So I was trying to make a lighter video because I've been talking about this all day. And so we're just gonna focus on what this video was about, you guys. Okay, um, so, I um, made an affirmation, declaration, 
promise, commitment, all of that to my husband. And I know everybody's going to be like, oh. yes, I told my husband, Mr. The Love of My Life, the the tea in my lemon, <laughs> um, my mango in my tea, um, that I will not purchase any more handbags in 2023. Yesterday, when I received the beauty that I received, and I thought about the um, handbags that I have not carried, I have reached my cap for 2023. And I just want to see how much I'll save. I just want to see um, what bags I actually rotate and reach for and think about without me purchasing anything else. Um, because you guys, I have bags that I have not carried and they're just collecting dust. And it's, it's, it's not fair to the handbag and it's not fair to someone else that could be enjoying the handbag. So, um, I, I, I'm going to make that commitment. I'm not purchasing any more handbags for 2023 luxury or whatever the case is. And, um, I will reach back and grab some of the bags that I have not carried that still have tags on them. So today is the video showing you why my man mind was made up so everybody saw the video on my carry all mm that i videoed on december 31st that was my last purchase of 2022 right um it made it on the cusp of 2022 because it would have been the handbag the first handbag of 2023 but she was actually delivered on 2023 remarkably it was um but that's neither here nor there right so i got i carried her for weeks i mean for the first month of the year i think i carried her daily that's the longest i carried her back and i still love her she is the business that bag is everything um but she's gotten put in the put aside for a minute because I am absolutely in love with Monogram, um, LV Monogram. And these are the three purchases that told me that I don't need any more bags for the rest of the year. I'm gonna rotate these out along with my Florentine um, Dunia Burke that my husband um, got me for Valentine's Day and all the other bags that um, that I have not carried. I have not carried my Bochette Matisse's. Um, I just have a lot of bags, you guys, that I have not reached for. My YSL Nikki bag. Um, yeah. I got some bags that I need to carry. So, this is the first purchase that kind of got, got me thinking like, oh my God. The LV Neverfull Mimosa um, print inside. Um, absolutely gorgeous made like any other never full she is stuffed i do have her stuffed um but perfect perfect bag it's springtime it can this is a springtime summer bag right this is a all weather bag the vachette on here does not make me nervous um i feel confident um that I can protect her. I know all about the Never Full. I have protective bags in my um, car that if any kind of inclement weather was to happen, I, I have a bag that I can just drop her in and life goes on. So she is fine, right? So um, yeah, so this is one bag that kind of made me start thinking. Then, ugh. Somebody told me you always go back to the now. The no GM is everything about life. This bag is absolutely 
flawless, absolutely gorgeous in every sense of the word. I love this bag. She will be on definite rotate um, throughout the whole year. Um, hopefully she'll start getting a nice little patina on her so I can get a little protection on her. I have apple guarded her too, <laughs> until I can't apple guard her anymore. So she is very clean. She should be, she's practically brand new. Um, and I have apple guarded her. I'll apple guard her again on the next time that I get ready to take her out. Um, okay. Um, but yeah, she's perfect. This bag is perfect. So, yeah, absolutely love this bag. Absolutely love this bag. She, she's another reason why I said, uh, Lisa, you don't need to purchase anything else. But what made me say no more bags for 2023? Ugh. She is always compared to the Never Fool. I don't know why she's compared to the Never Fool because she's not even in the tote family. She's um always compared to her sister bag, which I can see why she is compared to her sister bag. So, without further ado, I'm going to introduce to some <laughs> and present to others this exquisite beautiful 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 graceful yes 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 this bag gives me my whole entire life oh my god yes when i got her and i looked at these two beautiful flawless oh my god bags from louis vuitton I said, I don't need any more bags this year. I am done. These are all three totally different bags. The only thing they have in common is that they're monogram and they're Louis Vuitton bags and they have the shutter leather. But everything about these bags are totally different. Um, can I do the same thing with all three of these? There is a common denominator with all of them. They're large. I love a large handbag, as you can tell, right? There's a common denominator with all of them. They all have the Vachetta leather. They all have the monogram. They're all beautiful. So, what made me go to back to the original monogram with LV is because ain't nothing like the original, nothing like the real thing, nothing like the thing that got your attention, brought you to Louis Vuitton in the first place. Louis Vuitton can come out with all the polka dotted bags, um, the um, lime green bags, um, whatever bag they want to come out with. But guess what? I am sticking to the bags that when they actually put in the money's worth of these bags. This bag right here is under $2,000. And to me, she is worth more than some of the bags that Louis Vuitton is charging, like two or $3,000. There's a little bit small Matisse bag that's almost three grand, y'all. Louis Vuitton is ripping off their consumers. And the reason why they can get away with it because they know all they got to do is change the canvas, add a special color to it, add, take away the shell of leather, add leather, do whatever type of change to it, to, to the bag, and guess what? Somebody's gonna buy it. Not I. I started catching on when I looked at the carry-all and I looked at this bag last night. And I started looking. And I start really looking. And I said, you know what? These are really the same bag. There's 
some differences, of course. But they're very similar. They do the same thing. They will have the same outcome. They're both MMs and they, ex they are extraordinarily big. There is no GM. Um, one is all leather, one is all canvas. But the whole outcome of it is they're really the same bag, which is different. Um, the outside is different. So I want to get more bang for my buck. After purchasing these bags, these are the newest bags from Louis Vuitton that I've been wanting that's still on their site today. Um, but anything else that's on their site, I don't want. I'm going back to the gently used um, Louis Vuitton bags. Those, the ones that this was brass and and um, the ones that it could take the endurance and you didn't have to worry about if you put something in there with, with the strap pop off. And people are having nightmare situations with these newer bags that are coming out. They're charging more with less quality. And you, I'm getting, I want more bang for my buck. I'm not gonna give you more money for a bag like this just because it's Hina leather. When I can get a full monogram bag that can carry the kitchen sink in it, that's under two thousand dollars. Y'all got to start looking at this kind of stuff. Y'all got. I know some people don't like large bags, and I get that. Some people don't like the large bags, and I get that. I do. But you may want to start looking on the generally used sites. Because I promise you, what you see on the, new, on the new Louis Vuitton website is probably a remake of something that's already been out with them before. I am not knocking Louis Vuitton. Of course I'm not knocking Louis Vuitton. I mean, I'm one of their biggest cheer, I mean, biggest um, person that purchased from them. So, um, no, I'm not. I over-exaggerated that. I know people that have spent like millions on Louis Vuitton. So no, I take that back. That was a typo, but I have invested in Louis Vuitton, put it like that. So I am not knocking the brand by no means because I love it. Um, but what I am saying is you're not going to give my money for and, and, and give me less when I know what you've produced over the years. So I'm going to go and get what you produced over the years. I'm going to comb these generally used sites. And I'm going to find some oldie but goodies. Um, I am good with the three. With my Florentine Dooney and Burke. With my Gucci Attaché. And my carry-all. And my, my pleather. <laughs> of, they're not pleather. Don't take, don't, people take your words literally. My large amount of luxury bags that I have in my luxury bag room. Um, that I have not carried. And I need to carry, I need to rotate these bags out. And I have nine months left in this year and I'm gonna utilize the, this year by carrying and utilizing things that I already have and stop purchasing more bags. Enough is enough. I believe at a certain point, what is the point that we're trying to prove? Going out here spending two or $3,000 each and every time a new bag come out, but you haven't really fully got the use out of the bag that you have. I'm talking to myself. Um, what is the point? Unless it's a collective item, collective item um, that you can't get anymore, it does not make sense. Enjoy the bag that you have. Make sure that you're enjoying it, loving it, taking care of it, because it is an investment. And I say it all the time, and it is true. You can always sell the bag, so I'm not saying don't go out and have fun or purchase you a nice little handbag this year. That's not what I'm saying. Think smart. Be smart about it. Don't go out and purchase a bag just because it's the newest thing uh, out there. All of my purchases were smart last year. I just don't need to purchase anything else because most of the bags that I got at the end of 2022, they're still practically brand new bags. 
So I need to carry them. I need to love on them. You're going to see these monogram bags right here quite often. The Florentine, you're going to see that quite often by Dooney and Burke. And I'm going to be a happy camper. I'm going to have more money. <laughs> I'm going to have more money. I'm going to get more bang for my buck. And I'm going to enjoy these investments that I have worked hard to invest in. Um, so, nothing is wrong. Um, I'm not going through anything or anything like that. I just want to see how much I would save and how much I would reach for other bags if I'm not consistently purchasing other bags. So, I'm good. Um, and, I, and I think it's going to be good. If, and, and if you really think about it, if you're not a purse lover, if you're a shoe lover, um, clothes lover, um, and you know that basically you don't need another pair of shoes or you don't need another maxi dress or another um, summer dress or whatever it is. If you know you really don't need it, rotate some stuff out. Switch out the sandals. Use a Wear a different pair of sandals with the dress than you wore with last year. Change the look up. Put on different jewelry. Wear a different necklace. Wear a different earring. Um, change your hair up. Um, give it a different look, put on a belt, you know, you'd be surprised what a belt does to an outfit. It changes it completely. Um, so that's all I'm saying. Try, uh, and, and you're safe. You would be surprised like, oh my God, she's right. She is right. So stop trying to keep, and I'm not saying we were all trying to keep up with the Joneses because I definitely wasn't. I love bags. And I'm not saying that I'll never purchase another luxury handbag. That's not what I'm saying. I'm thinking smarter, and I'm making more investments, and I'm using the investments that I've invested in. What good is it to keep purchasing bags, and you're not carrying them? It's just that simple. So I'm stepping back from purchasing, and I'm carrying the bags that I purchased. That's all. So this beauty is exquisite. She's perfect. I got this dress on because the inside is identical to this color. Um, everything about this bag screams luxury. I do not like her sister, Delightful, because I don't like the feet on the Delightful. I don't like the reinforcement, um, the shed of leather on the Delightful. This is the bag that I love much better than the Delightful. Um, nothing wrong with it because they're pretty much the same handbag. I just love this one just a little bit more, right? So I'm happy, I'm satisfied, and you guys will see more of this bag. You'll hear more about my No Adventure, my Never Fool Adventure, my Atashe Adventure, my Carry All, my Florentine. I'll do different videos throughout this year, just showing the growth, the, the environments, different places that I've taken the bag and stuff like that. So you will still get videos. They're, they just won't be new bags. And some of the bags that I'll show on here may be new to you. <laughs> so who's to say? But anyway, you guys, love on your family. Take care of yourselves. Be peaceful. Smile at your fellow man because you never know what battle or what someone else is dealing with. And you can make the difference in their lives and their whole day. Be peaceful, you guys. And take care of yourselves, take care of your bodies, and remember you have one life to live, live it to the fullest. Bye-bye.